Hi guys, it's Cal Vlogs here. Welcome back to another video. I'm alright, I did some bits earlier, but I accidentally deleted them, so I'm not. can't use them. So today we're going to be talking about Sheffield Night and VAR, because basically it was VAR 2, Sheffield United 0, basically. Weren't it, Dad? Yeah. VAR is. He's ruining the sport. He might as well rename it VAR Ball. Because that's what it is. It's VAR Ball. Like, like every goal, like, every goal someone, like, scores, it just gets checked. Like, it's killing, it's just killing the sport, isn't it? It is. So, let, let's get Dad's thoughts on the game. So... Dad, what is your thoughts on the game? My thoughts on the game are, well, we should be 1-0 up in the first half. We had a better of the first half. Man City weren't on top of the game, but was that Sheffield United stopping them from playing? VAR needs to sort the terms out, because that was just so close with the, that was with the offside goal. I mean, we had it with Tottenham a uh, few matches ago, with John, John Armstrong's... Um, Big toe being offside. So now this one, even closer, just absolutely, it's like Carol says, it's killing the game, this VAR. It needs to get rid. VAR is not good. I don't like it. All they wanted for um, v VAR was go like technology, if that makes sense. And that's it. Leave rest to referee. All it wanted was to see if the ball was over the line or not. Not this bloody. Getting the lines out and everything. How many goals this season? Not just in Sheffield United, but in any other football match in the Premier League. How many goals have been disallowed with uh, this stupid line that's going across the pitch? Absolutely rubbish. VAR wants gone. Man City, the second goal, nothing wrong with it. Then the first goal, the referee got in the way of John Fleck collecting the ball. Now, to me, yeah, although the referee didn't touch the ball, to me, he should have stopped the game because he got in the way of our player getting the ball. And then he gave the advantage to City, who then went and scored. So that, again, was poor officiating. It's from the referee on that one, I'm afraid, and that's just my opinion. So, yeah, I'll have you so back. So, that was time. Dad's thoughts on the game, guys. Basically, VAR is... That was that game. It was VAR. VAR was it was totally in the wrong. They made some stupid decisions. Like like Dad said, when the when it hit the referee, it like when Norwood went to kick past the ball, it hit the referee, and then it like went on to Man City, and they scored from it. And in my like in my opinion, they should have like stopped it, or shouldn't have given the goal, and should have like. As as like the new rule is in the Premier League when they like stop like stop the ball like stop out out play and then it gives a tie but us or whoever touched the ball last or that's how it should be but no referee just let it go and Man City just went on and scored which is just stupid like you might as well call you might as well rename football instead of football call it VAR ball because that's what it is it's literally taken over by VAR at this point. Like, every decision, like, you, you can't even score a goal, you can't even celebrate. Because VAR literally has just, it's, it's killing the sport. It's, it's ridiculous. These so, VAR is just ridiculous. Like, every other, is every other Premier League game, it's just been taken over by VAR. Like, you can't even celebrate a goal, like I've said. You can't even celebrate. It's just ridiculous. This VAR is... It's it's killing the sport. It really is, and they need to they need to change it immediately. If they can't get rid of it, then they need to change it as soon as possible because this VAR at this point cannot go on any longer. It's just it's it's taking the enjoyment out of the game. Like it's ta it's taking the enjoyment out of the game. It's ridiculous with all these decisions and like like. Dad said with the Lundstrom and it was like a toenail offside or a shoulder, like a shoulder inch offside. Like that's ridiculous. How how 
can how can that be offside? It was like on the line as well. So how can that? I don't. Uh, do the referees like like do they like get trained off with the VAR or something? Like they need to sort out the referees because that they might not. They're doing it like they're, they're doing it like obviously with decisions, but just like like Dad said, he's saying um. But the uh, like you should just do it for like offsides or stuff like that. Only for that, but not for like the goals or anything like that. Just for like the goals and not the goals. Like, with the offsides and just do it for the offsides and that's it. Like you don't need to do it for anything else. You don't need to like change like the goals or well, I mean some of it can be offside, but not like it's like every goal. It's every goal that's getting checked and like being ruled offside. Like like today, Moose scored a goal. It was perfectly fine. Like no problem with it. But it was like a t it was like it was like onside. It's like the the his toe was like on the line of the um, of the goal, like of the linesman, like where he was. And it was like it was like it was, it was perfectly onside. Like there was no wrong with that. It was just. Like, they, they thought, oh, because he's like a toenail offside, we got to give it off. Like, come on, that's just ridiculous. So, do you want to say anything else, Dad, on the, for, on, so, on the game? Uh, later on in the week, if Dad feels like it, we could go down to the park and do some filming there. It depends, like, what do you, what do you want to see on my vlog? Leave, leave a comment down below, because... It'll be interesting to read your comments, and I'll, I'll be reading them, so make sure to leave a comment down below. Um, but yeah, today's game, like, you might as well call it VAR ball. That's literally what it is, isn't it, Dad? What, mate? You might as well call it VAR ball. Yeah, might as well, mate, yeah. It's ridiculous, like, like every goal, you can't even celebrate because either VAR will roll it out, or... It will just be offside or something. So, yeah, VAR is ridiculous now and it's just getting out of hand. Yeah, it's... If you if you had, like... If, like, any... For, for another team, like, oh, for us, because we're, like, the smaller club in the Premier League, we get everything against us. But if it's a big club like Man City or Man United, oh, they, they'll get, like, loads of fouls and... Not even yellow cards and stuff. It's again out of hand. So this was a little rant. Um, my dad had a little rant as well. <laughs> Just ridiculous. And I bet VAR will probably be the championship next season. Won't they? Gonna, uh, won't it be, Dad? Hey. VAR will be in the championship next season. Hopefully, it goes away. <laughs> I doubt it because didn't you say there was a. Uh, because it was like lo with loads of money, or yeah, they spent so much money for it to get to get rid now. So yeah, no, they're going to be keeping it. I'm afraid but they want to get it sorted somehow. Because these just offsides, like I said before, it's just ridiculous. Exactly, it's just ridiculous how it's like you can't celebrate a goal because literally it'll just be ruled out or some ridiculous decision will go against us or something. Like, if you've seen our games in the past, literally VAR is against us. Like, if you've seen that one against Southampton, we had a... Because John Egan's arm was, like, I think, like, offside or something. So they had to disallow And then Southampton scored straight after that goal. Uh, that goal that McBurney ruled out for, so... It's literally... It's killing the sport, like... Honestly, you probably it's, it's a joke this VAR. It's they need they need like they need it changing an overhaul completely on VAR because some of the decisions are just ridiculous and they need changing as soon as possible. So yeah, also I watched um, Arsenal and Man City earlier. I probably already said this, but I think it was was it two one dead. 2-1 to um, 
I meant Chelsea, sorry about that guys. <laughs> um it would it would Chelsea and it would two one. It's like a lo London derby. And it was it was a good game, it was a good game. Better than our game. Because that was just VAR all written all over that game. And Liverpool beat Wolves one nil. So they go thirty points. I hope like it must be certain now Liverpool win the league, isn't it? Yeah, they'll win the league now. And they'll win the league. There's no way Man City or Leicester can catch them on honestly. I don't know how Leicester are second. How will Leicester a second dad? But oh, VAR is annoying. Really is. Like it's it, it, sometimes like if it's I bet it's like if it's like a smaller club or against a big club, VAR or always be against well be with the big club and then it'll be against a small club. If that makes sense. It's just it's just honestly ridiculous. Is VAR? Just you just call it VAR ball. That that's all it is now. It's V it, like it's not even football anymore. It seriously isn't. Like if you probably would have watched it like in dad's times in the eighties or something, that would have been much enjoyable than it is now, isn't it, Dad? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's ridiculous. Like the amount of decisions in it. All right then, guys. So I'm gonna. Go on now and so I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure to comment, like, and don't forget to turn on the post notifications every time, uh, or you won't miss a video. Every time I upload a video, and you will not miss a video. So make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.